Are we on? Are we recording? Yeah. Okay, good morning. Nice to be with you. Sorry if I look a bit um, hungover. Um, I had a WI meeting last night and got back rather late, so consequently got into bed rather late. So a bit sort of A bit hungover. Um, what was I gonna? What was I gonna say? See, I can't even think what I was gonna say. Um, been working on our one three two scale British Airborne, and you know something. I'll tell you something. I could not get the faces for the life of me. I just... Why? Well, I did the, as you know, I did the... Face on that guy. I think that was more luck than judgment, the way that came out. But these others, I could not get the faces. And I would do X hours work only to go over the whole lot in primer because I wasn't happy with it, I wasn't satisfied with it but it's not good very frustrating, very frustrating but then I, I stopped and thought about it when you take a figure particularly in 132, 135 and above What's the first thing people look at? And it's the same with humans. What's the first thing people look at? It's the face. So you say, oh right, well then we can forget about the rest of the figure for now. Because the uniform and the equipment, it's just areas of colour, isn't it? Light and shade. Dark and light, shade and highlight. And you can make a mistake or two on that and probably get away with it. That's, that's not so bad. But the face, you make a mistake on the face, it blows the whole figure. Which is what I've seen. I've seen figures for sale on like eBay. Beautifully painted figures. Only to be ruined by a poorly painted face. So you say, well, we look at the face now. What's what's the important bit of a face? I say, all right, well, that's the eyes. And, and the rest of the face is just, again, light and dark, shade and highlight. You could probably, possibly make a mistake or two in that. Get away with it. But you get the eyes wrong. You blow the whole figure, you blow the whole figure, simply because you got the eyes wrong. So I'm now watching videos now on people painting eyes and faces in 132 and 135, particularly 135. Everybody's take on this is different. We're all different, we all have our own ideas on things. Um, People's ideas on this was, um, they were all totally different. I mean, even just going down to the base color of the face, some people would use brown sand, others would use beige red. Some would mix particular colors together to get, but it's, I guess it's horses for courses and you find, we all, find our own way of doing things. We all find our own way of doing things. But as far as eyes go, I would see people painting eyes with fiddly tiny brushes and I couldn't. I don't know why, but I just couldn't 
if I had my own painting eyes with a brush, even small, really good, like sable brushes, I just, just couldn't get it. Because because we are talking one three two, one three five scale. We are talking very small amounts of paint here. Then I saw one video. The guy had it nailed. The guy had it nailed. Excuse me a second, I'm going to move the phone a second. Just to, here you go, just to, just to get it level. It, it was a, on the piss as people say. So, I watched this video, and to me, this guy had it nailed. It makes perfect, perfect sense. Um, why do you, why use a brush? Why use a brush to paint the eyes? You're making your life difficult, surely. All right, yeah, you paint in the whites of the eyes. Block, you block them in with a brush, yeah, sure. Um, not with pure white, because it's too stark. So you use an off-white, or in my case, I use pale sand. But the actual pupil on the iris why faff, why faff about trying to paint them with a brush surely you're making life difficult for yourself and this guy for me anyway he he proved that he proved that he, he proved that and he proved but you feeding time at the zoo downstairs, chopping stuff out. I don't want to have to do it. Yeah, so he proved you don't necessarily have to do things with a brush. You don't necessarily have to do things with a brush. Exhibit A. One finely pointed cocktail stick. Just dab it in the paint. In the eye. Just just dot it in. And if you really want to do the bit in the center of the eye, the, what do I call it, the iris. And even finer pointed cocktail stick. Um, I personally don't really subscribe to dotting the center of the eye because these figures are so small anyway really compared to what you're trying to paint as long as you get the pupil that's sort of I don't know whether you can see that, where well, you can see that. But probably not very well in this light. I've got to do a lot of shadows on these yet, on the faces. But, but the shadows, I've done all the highlighting, I do the shadows now. But they're looking good, they're looking good. That's sort of me, sort of nailed them method to my satisfaction. Um, one thing with these 132 figures is, they're nice figures by Airfix, but they are what they are, late 60s, early 70s figures, so you've got to bear that in mind, and if anything lets these figures down, it's just occasionally on faces, the moulding's not all you want it to be, but you know, they're not kit figures of today or alpine miniatures or anything like that, they are what they are. 60s stroke, 70s, they're fixed figures. I mean, you take this guy firing a Lee Enfield, um, yeah, I know you can't really see it on this, but the, the moulding on the face is, is not great. It's not great. Same with the sniper guy here 
molding on the face is not great but they'll look okay when they're done and as I've said to you for building a army um, for the backbone of your army to sort of flesh it out these figures are ideal they're ideal um, I think what's going to work out nice is the foliage on the helmet so I think that will work out nice with the sponge mix we added so now I've got the sort of method nailed down ready for the faces and I'm happy with the, how they're sort of turning out I think we'll crack on a bit better with these now um, like I say, I mean, some of the faces are not greatly moulded, so you have to paint accordingly. But what I did do... <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice yet again. What I did do was... Um, went online and ordered some boxes of Alpine Miniatures heads. Just the heads. Because Alpine will supply you boxes with just heads. So I boarded three or four boxes of them. And um, when I've done these British Airborne, I'm just going to have a go with some heads, some decent heads, and get some practice in with the heads. Um, I'm sure we can use the heads on other figures when they're done. And I'm now starting to think, maybe, just maybe, on some of these kit figures, Maybe we could make the heads interchangeable. Have a little pin in the neck and make the heads interchangeable. I don't know how feasible that will be. That would be. I might have a look at that. See if we can do that because we're going to have like fifteen or twenty painted heads with no bodies, no body to be with. So, so um, yeah, I might have a look at that. That's that's. I gotta get more experience. As as I've told you, folks, you're all much more experienced at this game than me. I'm still learning my trade. Um, particularly with the faces, it's it's for these size of figures, one three five, one three two. It's critical to me personally. It's critical you get the face right. Otherwise, it just ruins the whole figure, and the whole figure looks ridiculous. So it needs to be got right. But I'll get it, I'll get it. So anyway, that's where we're at. We're gonna have a crack at them and when I finish with this video, I'm gonna have a crack at them and put the Oh, that's my door, excuse me. Forgive me for that. I had no idea the postman was going to call. So, we can do an unboxing whilst we're here. Spec savers. Give me that. I wonder what this is. Right, right, let's get a knife a second. I've lost the thread of what I was saying. Alpine miniatures, so we're going to have a go at some of the heads for that, just to get more more experience at painting heads and faces, because you can. away with murder 
81 70 second scale figures on faces and stuff you can get away with murder more about that in a minute we'll just open this box in a bit whilst we're here My golly, that came quick. My word. My good grief. One thirty second scale. Excellent. What I've got to check is, does this come with a pilot? That's what I wasn't sure of. Yeah, quite a biggish, biggish thing, as you would expect with that scale. Do they give you a pilot? No, they don't. Bugger. Hmm. That's gonna be an excuse. Look. A sheet of photo edged. We'll have a look at this in more detail when I've got time. Put these on flat on here. Very nice. So there's no pilot. That's okay. So I'm going to have to go back online and get a pilot for this thing. But that's no problem. I know where I can get a pilot. That's no problem. Yeah, very good. I'm thinking, I was thinking this morning, I was thinking about that kit this morning. I think I could motorize that. So we could get the prop going on that. I think I could motorize that. But that'll be an excuse to get the um, airbrush fired up. We've still not fired that up in anger yet. So that's something else that we're going to be doing. There's a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff we got to do. Excuse me a second. Yeah, so I'll get on with the giveaway. So I want to get on and have another crack at these British Airborne. So, um, I did say we would do something for... Because we've gone through 300 videos now, it's 300 and whatever it is now. 303 or something. So I did say we would do something for that. So for the main giveaway this month, it's it's, it's on its way somewhere. Don't ask me where, but it's on its way somewhere. Okay. Is a 13th century, excuse me again, a 13th century 28mm Knight's Command for your um, Lion Rampant or whatever type of rules you play for that era. That's a 13th century Knight's Command in 28mm. That's Four figures, nice looking figures. Um, 
So if you want to enter for the Knight's Command, 28 mil Knight's Command, just put, um, what we say? Just put Command in the comment below. Just put Command. And you can enter for the Knight's Command. For the, um, just for the 300 videos. I never thought I'd make <laughs> make 300. Well, I didn't know how many videos I would make when I started out in this channel. I didn't know. I just, I just spurred the moment decision to make videos. So yeah, 300 videos. Yeah, so, so for getting through 300 videos, Dad. Raphael Kolinsky Sable size zero brush. A very nice very nice brush. Kolinsky France. Yeah. I've got a lot of Raphael brushes here. I haven't tried them yet, but I can guarantee you they will be They'll be okay. You can't beat Kalinsky Sable for painting miniatures, doing a nice job. So, if you want to enter for the Kalinsky Sable brush, just put Sable in the comment below, and we'll enter you for the very nice Kalinsky Sable brush. So that's it, just enter command for the four command figures, knights command figures, whenever they get here. <laughs> They're on their way from the Holy Land. <laughs> um, or sable for the paintbrush, if you want to enter for the paintbrush. Or just put both those words if you want to enter for both things. I mean, and we'll give you a, what's today? What's today? Thursday. I'm sure the commands figures will be here by the middle of next week. We'll do it sort of middle of next week. We'll, we'll make the draw for the sable brush and the command figures. So that's me done. I'm going to go and get another cup of coffee and um, have a crack at these British Airborne. If I get the faces done, I can start work on the Denison smock then. That's going to be another interesting challenge because it's multicolored. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting. So, as always, if you subscribed recently, thank you very much. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you know, do the usual thing and push the button and push the bell and you, you'll be notified when I upload videos. Um, be careful, stay safe. It's still a mad world. It's still full of pox out there. So be careful. Take care of yourselves. See you on the next one.